Well, tonight is a very important night. Winifred Carney, iconic revolutionary leader, a trade unionist, a feminist, a suffragette, lived quite close to where we are now on Carlyle Circus. Their portrait is hanging in a church that would be very well known in North Belfast. And to a large extent, it's Winifred Carney getting a wee bit of the recognition that she has not got over there over a number of years. So it's good to see people who are actively involved in community work, involved in local politics, involved in art, involved in drama, being here to share this occasion with us. It's a very important night. Uh, what wouldn't have happened, of course, without the hard work and the effort and the energy put in to, by individuals to have Winifred Carney elevated to the spot where Winifred Carney should be, to the forefront of all of those who wish to celebrate the raising of 1916. Looking at the portrait, it is a, a beautiful painting and uh, I'm only uh, glad that I'm here tonight to, uh, to see it. It's very important to remember Winifred uh, along with some of the other women of 1916 and uh, it's very proud to be able to be here tonight and uh, see this wonderful painting uh, behind me. Absolutely delighted to be here in the Duncan Cultural Arts Centre on the top of the New Lodge Road. Hard fitting are we to be here on feeling this portrait of Winifred Carney. Just up, just down the road from where she lived in Carlisle Circus, up the street really from the docks and from York Street where I think that would have done her best Republican work where she was fighting for the improvement of social conditions and economic conditions of the working class in Belfast, particularly the women. When I think of strong Republican women that I have, have helped come remember in the last few weeks, including Sheena Campbell, Maura Drum, I see the similarities between all of them. Uh, where they, they were fighting to improve the social and economic conditions for working class people. But I see other people in this room who continue in that fight, who are continuing that struggle throughout day and daily, fighting to improve uh, better housing, better employment prospects, educational attainment and better access to services, ensuring that the proclamation is a living document, not just rhetoric. Um, I see here uh, the comment, a history shared, where I think it should be a more just future together.